Okay, let's begin the long overdue range bar backtesting video. Uh, first, uh, you have to open the MetaTrader 4 platform as a system administrator. Uh, this is just to make sure that you have access to the correct files. Okay, once uh, once you have the platform open, uh, make sure that you uh, select the instruments you're going to backtest. So uh, let's just select your dollar here. Chart window. Additionally, the pound dollar chart window. Okay, now you want these in one minute as one minute charts. Uh, since this is the data we're going to use to generate the range bar charts. Okay, once you have those on, you just want to refresh each chart um, to synchronize with the history center. Okay, see that? Uh, new bars imported. And um, you just want to make sure, just want to make sure how far in history you can go. This is done by uh, pressing the home button. Go to the beginning of the chart, and if you keep that button pressed, uh, you're going to scroll back in history. That's the November 5th. Uh, let's see how this far goes. Okay, let's make it the same. Right, let's just leave that for now. Okay, we have those synchronized. Now, what you have to do the next step is close the platform. And now you have to open the folder uh, containing the Trader Forum platform. Okay, you want to go into the uh, history folder. Uh, we've used IBFX here, so open that. And the files uh, that you need to copy, because you're going to have to copy certain files in here, is the one minute charts. So it has one here. Uh, if you keep the control pressed, you can select multiple choices. Okay, we got the pound plus. You have to select symbols, symbol select, uh, symbol groups, and ticks. Okay, just um, copy that. Go back one step. Now you have to make a new folder. Let's name that our uh, range bars. Okay, now go into that folder and paste paste the files you just copied. Okay, now for the tricky part. Uh, you have to reopen the terminal. And what you want to do now is you want to go offline and uh, select. We're doing this by selecting the uh, folder we just created, which is range bars, as the server. You can leave that and change the rest. It's not important here. Okay, and um, just let me scroll that so you can see that. Okay, you get no connection here, and that's correct. You should have no connection, but uh, just to verify if we have the charts right, uh, if you switch to any other time frames, you're not going to get any data. You're just going to get data on the one minute charts, which are, which are the charts we copied. Um, just to see the time spent here, November 5th to uh, November 10th. If you want to go further in time, you're going to have to download more history. But uh, for this example here, this is sufficient. Okay, now if you see um, if you see anything else here, uh, that means you screw something up. you got to go back to step one, okay? Um, all right, now the next thing we do so we have these one minute charts here and we apply the range bar plugin uh, select 3 pip range and the output time frame here is uh, you gotta select 5 because you, you, you have to have a standard administrator time frame here for back tests otherwise it's not gonna work so I'm just selecting 5 okay since we're already using one we can't do that or it's, uh, it's gonna screw up the charts okay we're going to use 5 here. Uh, the rest, just leave it as you have. Uh, 
here we select zero to use all history. And of course, uh, back testing to true. That's this. Three different learners are uh, ready for back testing at GBPOD five minute time frame. Okay. And the second one, do exactly the same thing. Six pip, five minute time frame. All history. Back testing. Okay. And you can just close these up. And um, just do the back test now. So um, we bring up the strategy tester and expert advisor we want to use. Uh, this is just a clean installation here, so I don't have much here. It's a moving average. You know how that's going to perform. Uh, we select the five minute, five minute here. Uh, we select our symbol every tick, visual, and start. Okay. As you can see here, these are range bars being back tested. Right, and this is our backtest result. Okay, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching.